She dyed her hair blue She's going through a midlife crisis at 22 oh, She thinks she's so cool Well, I hate to admit it But I think she knows the thing she is too Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be doing all my favorite bags. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Jay from Decent Look and in today's video, I'm going to be doing all my favorite bags in my wardrobe. Well, I do have a lot of bags, but I don't have any like high-end brands bags like Gucci, Louis Vuitton, Prada, I don't have any of them so I was kind of hesitated about filming this video because I felt like I should have had any of that high brand bag but I still love Korean designer bags, SPA brands bag from like street store I just love buying a bag so I thought it'd be nice to just show you guys what I have and what's my favorite and I'm just hoping this video is helpful for people who are looking for a new bag but affordable bag without further ado, let's jump right into the video So the first bag I'm going to introduce you guys is this Charles and Kid black chain bag and I got this at Shincheon Hyundai department store it was about like 100 bucks that's what I remember. It's not like plain black. It's kind of like looks like crocodile leather. That's what I like about this bag. And big reason I decided to get this bag is because of this thick ship chain. So it's basically you can wear this bag with two ways: simple thin black strap, just basic one, or you can just get rid of the the basic strap and then just wear it with the chain they also have this small wallet inside the back well i don't really use the wallet like this and the color inside is like pure red that's really like make the back stylish too because if it was just like all black inside out, I wouldn't get it. Oh, also the logo here is kind of like, I don't know like how to explain this, like how they put the logo on because it's like 3D right here. I don't know, but it's very really like unique. It doesn't look like 100 bucks bag. It, the detail of this bag is so chic. Yeah, so if you're looking for a chic black mini bag, I highly recommend Charles and Kid bag. And then the second bag I'm going to introduce you guys is this Carlin bag and it's, they're actually a Korean brand I actually filmed one sponsor video because they gave me this product but I really love their bags because their bags are like the bags that you want to get after you turn 20 they have various choices for the colors and they're, they have the basic design but it doesn't look like a cheap bag it looks very like modern, chic but like very basic, simple so it's like a, you know, something you should have in your wardrobe and also Collins, they recently started their international shipping for you guys outside Korea the detail of hook and the logo design here and the button the material are so great okay let's start with this bag i don't have any like white or beige bags in my wardrobe so it's always like dark colors so i really want to get something like bright white beige color i like the design the beige color with this gold points and it's really perfect size to fit my phone, lipstick, cushion and it also can fit my camera in it so I really love that and the second bag I got this is much more like a um, Korean woman bag 1.5 bigger than the the right one got this bag because I always always carry my water bottle with me it fits perfectly and I still have a lot of room for my other stuff if it's a date like I have to carry a lot of stuff with me I prefer to carry this bag rather than this bag also the way how to open these bags are different this small one is like magnet 
But this bigger one, you see this like little skitter block here? You have to pull it to the left and then open the back. So even though Carlin's bag, they have a very simple design, but the details are all different from it's back by back. So that's why I love it. This is literally my everyday go-to bag. And if you guys are following me on IG, you guys probably send this bag a lot of time because I frequently wear this bag because I know it doesn't look like a big bag, but it really fits a lot of things. The main reason why I frequently wear this bag is because it fits my water bottle. I can put my phone, my pens, or hand sanitizer and then you close the back it doesn't look like it doesn't look ugly it looks very natural so that's why i carry this bag a lot so i've been wanting to buy any bags from jwp because they have very unique stylish design and also their price is so reasonable compared to their uh, material and design actually i got another mini bag so uh, i'm gonna show you after this bag like the Teresa kid bag it also has this crocodile pattern it also has the crocodile pattern on the strap which makes the bag more stylish and i love they pointed the bag with the gold yeah i just love the detail and the bag is not that hard so that makes the bag look more real leather it's very it just looks very natural like a lot of friends of mine they think like i paid a lot of money for this one because it really looks like an expensive bag i'm actually thinking about getting the same bag with another shade and the bag is already on point i like to throw this bag with simple outfit like this or i can wear with a dress it just looks really good with any outfit Here's another JWP bag that I purchased with the previous one. It's a really mini bag. The biggest reason I got this one is because of the, this little chain point. It feels like they like mixed or they dropped some paint in the chain. So it's very, very pretty. And probably this bag would be the smallest bag among my bags because the width is so narrow, so it doesn't fit a lot of stuff. I thought the length is adjustable, but the strap is literally stick like this. So that's one thing I don't love about this bag. And also because the strap is kind of short for me, it's okay with my summer outfit, but, but during winter time, if I layer close too much, it kind of looks weird, like it's too short for me. I'm gonna introduce you guys another mini bag I have and I think this is the smallest mini bag I have because it fits nothing maybe it would fit my phone though yeah my phone fits in it but that's it I can't put my lipsticks or anything or if I put my wallet that's it so it literally fits one stuff yeah I got this bag when I went to LA last year and I think I got this when I went to the Mallet Street. I didn't remember the shop store name. Like everyone knows Minif Bag fits nothing, but people still buy it because they're so cute. But I had to get this Minif Bag because the tassels just hanging down here. I thought it looks super cute and also chic. And also it could give a point on your outfit because I don't know, they look so pretty. You're just tangling here and on the side so the strap of this bag is not connecting with the hoop but inside of that they're just studying the whole strap the design is super unique and has no pocket it just just that's it yeah yeah just in the back what can we expect for I 
how beautiful it is, how chic it is, how gorgeous it is. Mm, well, this is one of the bags I really, really love, but I couldn't frequently wear this bag because I don't know how to wear this bag. I don't know like, which outfit to wear with this bag because the bag itself is so unique. So it's kind of hard for me to find a matchy outfit. This bag is from Gummu Art. I think they're a Korean brand. So the original price was about 400 bucks, but I paid five fifty dollars for this bag at where? At flea market. Yeah, I once posted a Korean sample sale shopping video before a while ago. It was probably a year ago. So I really like to shop at flea markets in Seoul. It was held by some celebrities like Kong Yujin or Sun Danbi and some of like celebrated stylists, of course some Korean fashion designers. And I did see Sun Danbi, but I couldn't see Kong Yujin because when I was there, she wasn't there. I actually got some sneakers, probably one or two sneakers from Sun Danbi. And this bag was new. It's not even used bag. It was just a wholly new bag. Yeah, I got this one at. $50 but just the silver part looks so great with this silver leather bag and this handle though this is like 90% of why I got this bag because the handle the silver handle is super chic of course you have two ways to carry this bag with the long strap or just like this by the details, I can tell why it's made by Korean designer because the details are amazing. But kind of cons of this bag is the way how to open this bag. Normal bags, we open like this or from the top, but this one, you should go all the way down. And also, the, the outside is gray and inside is red. It kind of reminds me of Hippo. So you need to be really, really careful if you put a lot of stuff in this bag. So I'm sure it's not a very comfortable bag, but the design matters, you know. Last but not least, I'm gonna introduce you guys the eco bags I have. One, two, three, four. Well, I gotta say, I do have over 10 eco bags at home, but I picked up just the most worn pieces. Well, some of the bags are not the bags that I purchased, some of them I got received from the brands. So here's the first bag that I got from Kiel is collaborated with Winner, the K-pop idol group. It has the chic black and white illustration all over the front and at the back it has my little garden. I don't know what that means but the bat something related to this campaign and also the size is pretty big so I can't even put my MacBook fits perfect i prefer to wear an eco bag that fit my laptop and second bag is kind of like beige colored eco bag well fit is actually the second label brand under by hazis so i went their kind of opening party in Myeongdong with my cousin and they let customers to experience like DIY eco bag. So this is actually the the paintings that I picked up. Uh, I picked up this color because I thought the yellow color looks great with this oatmeal eco bag. And this eco bag is pretty huge too, so yep. Uh, my MacBook fits in it. Yeah, so these 
two bags are my everyday go-to eco bags because my MacBook fits in those bags. That means a lot to me. So it depends on what outfit I wear that day. I either go with black one or beige eco bag. This is another eco bag I frequently wear and you guys can see it's not like a thick fabric. It's really like light fabric. So I frequently wear this bag during summertime more than wintertime because the material is just looks better with summer and I got this bag at Terra Rosa Coffee Factory in Gangneung. The price was about 10 bucks. It was so cheap. And I heard they donate the part of the money for each purchase. That's why I got this bag to donate some of the money to the kids out there and the last bag here I have a very unique handmade bag I got this one at, in Jeju-do, Jeju Island the store, uh, I forgot the store name but um, the store they were aired on the show Hyorine Minbak which the K-pop singer Lee Hyori was in that show and she went there with IU they're basically a vintage store and when I saw the, the store and the TV show I was like oh my gosh I, I want to go there one day and last summer I went to Jeju-do with my boyfriend and I found a map that we were close to the store so I went there and they have some clothes and shoes and a lot of like eco bags or bags like this this is like one of a kind bag the mixture of whole color it has orange yellow blue pink white black it's literally the mixture of whole color and this this ornamental just tangling all around here and you can wear like this skirt back or if you tighten the back it became much more cuter i really like this bag and the price was super cheap though so i highly recommend you guys that that store if you guys have any chance to visit jeju island uh, i'll link down the store address below so please go check out this store and also i told you guys as it's handmade and one of a kind bag they probably not have the same design as this one so they have the designs are all different and they have some choices for the size too so please go check out this store yeah so those are the bags that i frequently wear and which were super affordable so hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys have any questions please let me know in the comment below and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video bye